So, I met with two game developers. I'm sorry I was gone, but look, I made you some content. Daddy made you your favorite open wide. Here comes the content. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, how did a dumb <laughs> like me be able to meet with these guys well it went a bit something like this hey man you teach me game dev uh talk game game dev uh uh gun uh uh no but in all seriousness this is how it really went wait hold up only 51.5 percent of you are subscribed to this channel if you guys want to see what actually happened you must hit that subscribe button now <laughs> No, but for real this time, this is how it actually went. Thomas is a really nice guy, and this did go through, and I'm very surprised he accepted a d like me. For those that don't know who Thomas Rush is, he's an indie game developer, and he has also has a YouTube channel that he... Posts his game development tips, tricks, and also just games in general on there. He's super motivating. I definitely recommend checking him out. His link will be in the description. When you watch him, there's some different type of energy that's there where you just get this super motivated feeling because he shows that he can do it himself. And you have that inspiration in your heart if you are a true game dev that I can do this too. So now, the real question. What did I learn from Thomas Brush? There's actually a lot here. So he taught me a lot about how to grow my brand and I'll be getting into every single detail later. How to grow my brand, how to make games in general, what set schedule I should have as a beginning game developer and how I should execute my strategy in branding myself and in releasing my games and building a community. So how have I done this? Well, the answer is quite simple. I have been posting on Twitter more, reaching out to my Discord, posting updates on my games, and making frequent YouTube videos. I have also used a game design bible, as Thomas Brush calls it. This includes all of your game design document formats, your story, how the gameplay works, how anything works really with your game, your music, your graphics, all that stuff. I've also formed a small team to help me work on projects. So how did I meet him? Well, I talked to Thomas and I told him what college I'm going to. Turns out he goes to the same college I'm going to attend. And then it went a bit something like this. Yo, do you know anyone who is game dev oh I huh? I yes, Pete Cooper. R R R. Pete taught me more personal things about my college, but he also made a good point. I asked him the question, should I do AAA or should I stick to indie? My plan is to work at Bungie eventually, but I didn't know if it would be a good route. Seeing as how Pete is in the AAA industry, he worked with Riot Games and Activision Blizzard, but then he ended up splitting off and doing his own thing with the team. To which then he answered, it's really up to you. Do you want a job where you work so many hours a day or do you want to work for yourself and possibly not make money? So then I answered, as long as I'm making games, I will be happy. And I'm going to stick to that until the day I die. Overall, I learned a lot from these two game developers. These guys have been such huge inspirations to me ever since I started game development. And I'm extremely proud to say I was mentored by them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye little babies.